Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Minyard and this is a kit in 135 scale so here we get a new version of their panel delivery truck and as you can see in 135 scale it might be an interesting build for motherers who would like to depict a civilian vehicle and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means this kit is the final shape and you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it for example from Madelimax and the box size is typical in comparison with the previous releases uh, of this truck. So here you can see comparison with my hand. We have quite nice box art here. And just give me a second, I will remove a bit of uh, paper dust here. But here on the side we have also some safety devices and address of the manufacturer. While on the opposite side you can see four marking options. And of course they mentioned that decals are coming from Cartograph, so printing quality should be fine as we saw in the previous releases here we have the top opening box and inside you will find the sealed plastic bag so i will need scissors in order to open it and then we will check uh, the sprues one by one but in the meantime i can also remind you that i was checking the previous versions as well and you can find it on youtube channel just by typing the um, truck number as well as the manufacturer name there are a lot of novelties from Miniart recently, so it's worth checking them as well. And again, you'll find them on our YouTube channel too. Okay, so we will start with the gray plastic sprue, which is, I would say, specific for today's version, because it's a uh, uh, panels for this uh, van type of the truck and if I zoom in closer you can see what I'm talking about here note that the rear doors are molded separately we have also the front doors which are molded separately and this is a really good opportunity for some diorama ideas in 135 scale it might be a handy feature and here inside as you can see we have the guiding pins for interior panels while doors should be assembled out of those two parts which is also quite an easy thing because again we have the guiding elements so it's not a complicated task. And next we continue with another grey plastic sprue. So while we were talking about the interior parts for the um, wall panels. So here they are. They will be inserted with help of those guiding pins here. And the same can be said about those bars on the roof section. And if I flip it over here you can see what we are talking about. We also have the new seat parts. And overall molding quality looks fine. I don't see any flash here or other molding damage. Even though I would recommend to be careful with the thin parts because usually they require some uh, let's say special care next we continue with the roof panel here so as you can see it is molded together with the uh, windscreen frame here and we also have the floor panel we have the new chassis bars for the chassis and here we have also the interior uh, let's say insert for the frontal section of the uh, of this truck and what I like here is that the floor panel is detailed from both sides so if I flip it like this you can see it here as well we do not have any wooden texture here so now you can see what I'm talking about here but at least we have the guiding elements for interior panels and seats so it will be also useful for the proper position of those parts next we continue with the small spruce so there are plenty of them just like in any other previous uh, Miniard kit release in 135 scale. So here, for example, you can see the bonnet panels and also those radiator grills. But the radiator grills, as far as I remember, there is also an option to replace them with the P parts if you are up for such challenge. Next, we continue with this um, sprue, which is dedicated to the suspension parts so here we have the leaf springs as you can see and again molding quality looks fine but some parts are really thin here you can see comparison with my fingertips so be sure to use the sharp um, cutters or maybe even the plastic sole because it will give you a, a more precise cut next we have the double set of the sprue bc so here as you can see we have the mud guards we also have some parts for the wheel axles we have also parts for the uh, cap elements and also even the headlamp cases everything looks nice but for example with the headlamp cases we have the attachment point on the top so you have to be extra careful while separating it so that you won't leave any scuffs or marks on such visible point 
Next, another good thing here is that we have the engine parts included. This is the standard thing, you don't have to pay extra. And this is really cool, in 135 scale it will be definitely useful for a nice result, especially if you plan to open the bonnet, then it will not be empty inside, it will be actually showing some nice details. Next we continue here with the two small frames, as you can see this one is dedicated to the interior parts, while here we get the special, let's say, shaping parts for the uh, front grille and also some other PE parts, so that you can bend them into the right shape, and this is really cool because some modellers prefer to have the these elements replicated with PE parts, but obviously if you want to get the right uh, angle you have to use this special uh, forms. Next we continue with the separate doors and also this firewall here. Also we have the separate door cards, the separate windscreen frame and also steering wheel and some interior elements for the control. And here if I flip it over again inside we have some guiding elements but this is uh, already uh, would say something what is expected from mini art kit. As for the wheels, we have them on two sprues, so I will leave only one so that you can see what we actually have molded there, so let's zoom in a bit. And now you can see that here we have the nice uh, wheels in, uh, I would say, one piece design, so it means that we get them molded together with the tires, those wheel rims are not separable, and uh, well, for a nice marking, for nice paint work, you have to do your own masks. But at least we have the pre-molded details on the tire walls. And if I flip it over here, you can see that inside we also have quite nice details. Again, this is way better than having the rubber or vinyl tires, but it will require a bit of more of work. Next, we continue with the last and the biggest plastic sprue here. So uh, this one is dedicated to the fuel tank, the spare wheel. Also, we have a lot of suspension and transmission parts. We also have the separate bonnet here, uh, some other bonnet panels, but I think this ones uh, will not be used because they are for the truck, not for the van. But at least here we have the radiators, so they will be used. Also, some minor engine equipment. And if I flip it over here on the uh, bonnet part we also have some guiding elements so I guess there will be something aligned with help of them and also you can see that the wheel is empty from the opposite side but well it's a spare wheel and also here you have the another part of the tire. Next I'm opening the separate envelope with the PE fret so just give me a second to move this sprue aside. It's unpainted P fret and I will just zoom in so that you can see what we are talking about here and those parts will be handy both for internal and external features as you can see some of them are really tiny and this is a really useful bonus from Miniard so it's just a matter of careful application and I always recommend to use the P bender in order to achieve the nice result, nice cut because otherwise you might end up with a bit worse thing in a 135 scale. Next I'm opening a sealed plastic bag with the decals and clear parts. So just give me a moment. Okay, so first of all the clear sprue. Here it is. And let's zoom out a bit so that you can see what we are talking about. So those clear parts look fine. We have all the necessary glasses for the front cap and rear section. Also we have the lenses for the headlamps and taillights. But there are no masks, because uh, Mini Art does not include such things, so in case you would like to have a nice paintwork, you have to use your own masks. And another thing is the decals, as you remember, they are coming from Cartograph, so here we have really nice printing quality. We also have some interior decals for the instrument panel and also for various stencils. And overall, I think it will be easy to apply them. As far as I remember from my recent build with the Stuck, it was really nice experience and they don't have uh, such a prominent carrier film, so it looks fine once you have it on the model. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. So here I will just close the lenses and zoom out a bit. So this is a color printed brochure. Here we have short list of the features and then we start with first two marking options, quite bright ones, but this is a civil vehicle, that's why I was saying that it's a nice change from the uh, typical 
uh, would say build options of this truck. Then we have the parts map. Keep in mind that Miniar does not show which parts stay untouched, so it will be important to pay attention which ones are installed here and there. By the way, here you can see the use of this uh, shaping uh, tool for those uh, uh, barriers or buffers on the front or side of the frame. We also installed separately the leaf springs, the wheel axles. Next we continue with the exhaust and also assemble the engine. Maybe for all of this it will be also good to add some wiring but this is already up to you because here it's not described as you can see but overall the engine should be really detailed so it's worth uh, spending some time painting it properly and weathering it properly and maybe also exposing on the engine at least by not gluing the bonnet in place next we continue here with the frontal section so as you can see these are separate panels which will be installed onto the chassis and then we continue with the four panel side panels also this roof panel with this uh, support bars which were molded separately and then the next step is the windscreen frame so it can be assembled in open or closed position which is also handy to show what is inside the front cab the same can be said about the rear doors, in case you plan to place something inside, this will also come handy that you can open them. And then we continue with the wheel fenders. Here we start working with the bonnets, bonnet panels and front fenders. Here, by the way, you can see how the front grille can be assembled out of P parts. But as you remember, you can also replace it with the plastic part in case you don't feel like working with all of these P parts. So manufacturer shows that you can assemble the bonnet in open position with the special uh, fixed holder in place. But of course, as I said, you don't have to assemble it in a, uh, let's say, um, stable open position. It can be just a separate part which is not glued in place and you can open it to expose what is inside. And then we have the covers chart and on the last page we have two more marking options. This ambulance and also skate or steak and grill from Texas early 60s. Quite a nice red truck by the way. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. So what do you think about civil vehicles from Mini Art in 135 scale? Write it here in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.